ஓகே குட் மார்னிங் சார் வெரி குட் மார்னிங் ஓகே ஹாய் பவன் இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் யூ சார் மை நம் இஸ் பவன் குமார் ரெட்டி ஐ எம் ஃப்ரம் கடப்பா இன் ஆந்திர பிரதேஷ் ஐ கம்ப்ளீட்டட் மை பேச்சுலர் டிகிரி இன் ஸ்ட்ரீம் ஆஃப் பி காம் கம்ப்யூட்டர் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் இன் யோகியமான யூனிவர்சிட்டி இந்த இந்த இயர் ஆஃப் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் ஐ ஹேவ் ஏ நாலேஜ் இன் சிஆர் ஏடிஓ டாட் நெட் ஏஎஸ்பி டாட் நெட் அண்ட் எஸ்கியூஎல் சர்வர் ஹெச்டிஎம்எல் அண்ட் சிஎஸ்எஸ் ஐ மீ செல்ஃப் மோட்டிவேட் பர்சன் மை ஷார்ட் டர்ம் கோல் இஸ் டு கெட் ரிஜாப் இன் ஐடி செக்டர் மை லாங் டர்ம் கோல் இஸ் டு கெட் டு அச்சீவ் நெக்ஸ்ட் பொசிஷன் இன் தி செக்டர் வேர் ஐ வில் மை கரியர் அண்ட் ஹெல்ப் தி ஆர்கனைசேஷன் டூ ஐ கேன் ஸ்பீக் இங்கிலீஷ் அண்ட் தெலுங்கு In my free time, I am doing traveling and photography. About my family, my family consists of four members, father, mother, me and one sibling. That's all about me, sir. So, coming to technical, so I just want to know what is C-Sharp? C-Sharp is a programming language. With using C-Sharp, uh, C-Sharp we can develop console application and Windows applications. What is web application? Web applications means with using ASP button, we can develop the web applications. Web, web application is a user interface program. Okay. So generally we have three things in that, like client uh, side. Client side, server side uh, and uh, database. So what do you mean by client side? Client side means whatever we use, either you see by the client, that is called by client side. Okay. Like HTML and CSS is a client side uh, servers. Uh, back end means it is a C sharp, JavaScript, C sharp with Java, Python. Uh, PHP like that, sir. Sir, okay. so, SQL, a database means SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, like that, sir. Okay. So, in order to develop our .NET applications, what is the runtime engine which we are using? Sorry, sir? In order to use .NET applications, like what is the runtime engine, runtime engine which we are using? CLR, sir. Exactly. CLR stands for? Common Language Runtime. So, whenever you, like when we give source code, what exactly you are going to get it by uh, my... intermediate language code so what is this intermediate language code will be transferred to source code is converted to msil code with using language compiler clr can understand msil code only but operating system understand native code only in clr jit compiler is there jit compiler is convert the msil code into native code okay. uh, what exactly asp.net is ActiveX server page. Okay. Why do you use ASP.NET? ASP.NET is used to, we can develop the web applications. Okay. Now, what, are, what is ADO.NET? ADO.NET means ActiveX data object. With using ADO.NET, we can connection between, connection between the uh, SQL server and C Sharp program. Exactly. So, uh, like what is the code which we write in order to establish connection using ADO.NET? Connection string program. SQL. Yeah, SQL, uh, connection. SQL connection is equal to new SQL connection. Yes. Uh, server is equal to dot. User ID is equal to SA. Password is equal to 1 to 3. Database is equal to employee DB. Okay. What is the other thing? SQL command means? SQL command means you can write the query in SQL command. It, uh, it, uh, SQL command is used to we can perform the card operations. Okay. What are the controls in ASP.NET? ASP.NET yes, like checkbox. drop down list i like test uh, list item radio buttons at uh, repeater control yeah. data list control grid view like that sir what is button button means we can perform a particular operation when we click, when we click on button okay what is the event for button on click button on click event sir so what are validation controls there are several types of validations in asp.net like regular expression validator required required field validator compare validator validation summary custom validators okay so when we use uh, compare validator to compare the before validation and uh, prior validation like we give, uh, we give the password and retype password in mail logins create new account what are data grid controls data grid controls is used to bind the data there are three types of uh, controls is there data list repeater and grid view what is grid view grid view is uh, used to we can uh, dis- set up, display the set of uh, data in front end sir okay 
So what are the lines? Like in case if I want to establish uh, grid view, so we use grid view dot. Grid view dot data source. Very good. And the other one is grid view dot. Data source data point. Okay. What is SQL? SQL is a database. Using SQL my S M S SQL server in the dot net framework. Okay. What is the use of SQL server? We can store the user entered data in database. That uh, that purpose we use my M S SQL server. What are CRUD operations like? CRUD operations means create to update to retrieve to delete to. Okay. So, what is unique key on a table? Why we use it? Unique key. Unique key is a constant data, constant or type. It is a constant. It is not changed to everyone. Everyone, every employee have a constant ID. That purpose we use unique. Okay. Uh, what is primary key then? Primary key is is used to. Primary key is does not allow duplicate and null values. Every every table have only one primary key. What is the join? Join is is used to. We can merge the two table two tables. Okay. What are the different types of joins? There are three types of joins in there. There are. Inner join, outer join, left outer join, right outer join, and cross join. So what is uh, left outer join? Left outer join means it will display the matching area from both records and uh, display the non-matching area from left side table. Okay. What are the uh, what is right outer join then? Right outer join means it will display the ma matching area from both records and display the non-matching area from right side table. Okay. What is cross join then? Right join is nothing but M into N matrix. What is MVC? MVC means model view controller. It is a separation of layers. Very nice. So, uh, what are conditional statements? There are two uh, types of conditional statements. Is there condition branching and condition looping? In condition branching, there are three types of type three types in there. If you also switch to condition looping, there are four types are in there. For for each while loop do while. Okay. Uh, when we go for if else and when we go for for. If you want to display the particular statement when the condition is true, that time we use if else. When we want to display particular statement and again and again again or repeatedly, that purpose we use for it for loop. Do you have any questions? No, I think so. Thank you.